and I'm obsessed. A love interest who is hot. We love to hate a character. It's so good. It's smart. Oh, the smart. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. Last week's one was a lot of fun so I'm really excited to continue on with these. We definitely get a lot more content because I'm reading more throughout the week. So yes, very exciting. I hope you enjoyed the last one. Let me know what you're thinking of the weekly reading vlogs, if you like them, if you prefer them to the weekend reading vlogs or if you prefer the weekend reading vlogs. I would love to know your thoughts. It is currently Tuesday, so I'm starting this a day earlier than last week, which is better. We're getting there. I am off of my work today, so I am hoping to get a lot of reading done. I am currently hosting some live reading sprints on my channel, and I am doing them solo for the first time, which is... To begin with, it was very nerve-wracking and very weird, but I am loving it now. It's so nice to be able to interact with everyone. Like I always say, one of my favourite things about doing booktube is the total community vibe. And I really love interacting with you guys and chatting to you all and lives. Those are such a good way to do that. So I'm really hoping to do a, quite a lot more solo sprints. Like whenever I've got a day off, whenever I've got time, I'm just going to jump on and do some. Even if they're quite last minute, if people can join in, that is great. So yeah, hopefully there'll be a lot more on my channel to come. But I am currently reading From Blood and Ash. If you watched my last week's weekly, weekly reading vlog, you will know that I am reading this and I am obsessed. <laughs> I love this book so much. I am currently on page 248. I'm hoping to get a good chunk of it read today. It is such a fast read, so I think during these spins I should get quite a lot read. And yeah, I'm loving it. <laughs> But basically we are following Poppy, the main character, who is the maiden or the chosen one to ascend to the gods. Again, I don't really know what that means yet. Hopefully we'll find out soon. But basically she cannot be seen or touched or really spoken to by anyone apart from like the Duke, the Duchess and like her guards. Um, so she wears a veil whenever she's in public. No one's allowed to see her. But she isn't quite happy with her situation. She's already gone out in disguise to a bar or tavern she is also being taught to fight by one of her guards who like is sympathetic to her and she's quite a badass like she has joined in on some of the fighting already and no one knows it's her it's great we also have a love interest who is hot and there are some very steamy scenes and comments going on in here i am loving it i'm all for it we also have what are basically vampires, they're called the Craven and basically they get bitten and then become cursed and after a few days they turn into Craven themselves and they just want to suck people's blood and eat people. So they're basically vampires. But yeah, we have other stuff going on. We have like a dark one who I think lost the war between the two kings but then is still trying to rise up and there are people that are for his cause and people against him. Yeah. It's all a really fun, sexy, seductive time with a badass female character, so obviously I'm loving it. But yeah, my camera is currently flashing at me because apparently I did not charge it before starting this vlog because, you know, I'm smart me. But I am going to go get back to these sprints anyway, so I will catch up with you when I have read some more of this. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later now. I have come off of my sprints on my channel, which were so much fun. They were honestly lovely. It was really nice to do it solo because it meant I could really like interact with all the viewers a lot more and like have good chats with subscribers and yeah it was just lovely I had such a nice time after I got over the nerviness of it and I definitely want to do a lot more of those in the future I definitely want to try and do them like whenever I have a day off during the day because people seem to actually really enjoy the sort of during the day during the week sprints which I wasn't sure how those were going to go down because obviously people have work things like that but they seem to go down really well, people seem to really enjoy them so hopefully I'll be doing a lot more of those on my channel in the future. But I did manage to read about 100 pages of From Blood and Ash so I'm now on page 352. So we are well past the halfway mark and I am still absolutely loving this. There are things being brought up now that seem like there could maybe be some twists to come. Maybe certain characters aren't as loyal or reliable as we might have thought. I could be wrong about that but there's like little seeds being planted to make me think that maybe there's going to be some shocks here but that's okay I'm ready for it. The whole like romance part of this because it's so like forbidden it's just 
it's really fun to read about <laughs> and I'm really loving all the angst and the sort of attraction and seductive nature of it um, and yeah that whole like forbidden aspect just makes it so much more interesting <laughs> so I am really really enjoying that. We are learning a lot more about how maybe certain people in the kingdom don't agree with how things are done, the politics of it and the way things are done like basically you keep your first child but your second and third born are given to like serve the gods so you like never see them again basically after they are a month old I think it is so there's a whole thing about that and there's other things that people just do not agree with and yeah it's very interesting some very dark evil characters in this but we love to hate a character so Yes, still fully on board with this book, hoping to finish it within the next couple of days. I don't know if I'll read any more tonight. I might do, it depends. Brandon will be getting home from work soon, so we'll be having dinner and things like that. But I might do some reading, I'm not sure. But I will update you, of course, as soon as I get another bit of this read. <laughs> I did not update you at all yesterday because I literally did not do any reading. I was working, I was getting my car fixed, we were getting the heating fixed, it was just a getting jobs done kind of day. So yeah, I didn't do any reading at all but I have, as you will have seen, been cuddling up tonight with my cat Aria and doing some reading and I am now on page... 414 of From Blood and Ash and I am still absolutely loving this. It is getting so excited. We've had a couple of big sort of fight scenes. We have had Poppy being an absolute badass and just, I can't say because it's spoilers, but something that she just did. Oh my god, like I am obsessed with her. I love her so much and that whole scene was just amazing. It has also been emotional at times and the romance in this, I am living for it. Like I feel like I've not read a good fantasy with like this kind of like steamy, angsty romance in so long and I'm just so here for it. Like the way that their like attraction to each other is like forbidden and them like hiding and trying to not like act on their desires and yeah it's all just very steamy and it's all very angsty and I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to continue this book. I've got like less than 200 pages now so I might read a little bit more tonight. I don't know why I'm really tired and then hopefully finish this off. I want to finish it by the end of this vlog so I want to finish it by Sunday night and I think that is definitely doable as long as I put the time aside to read it which I'm sure I will because like I said I am loving it so I want to make the time to read it but I think this could go down as like a new favourite fantasy I really do it just has everything I want like it's action packed it has a really interesting like political system a really interesting world a badass female a badass central female character good romance good friendship it just has everything you want so yeah, I am loving it and I can't wait to continue. I am definitely going to have to get the second book but obviously I can't do that this month because I'm on my book buying ban because of TBR Pong. So I don't know when I'm going to get around to reading the second book but <laughs> that's fine. I don't know if I'll get around to reading anything else this week. I feel like it might just be this but if I do I may move on to Loveless or possibly The Family Upstairs. I'm not sure but this is definitely my main goal so I am very hopeful that I'll get it finished by the end of the week and I think it should be a very high rating so yeah. Hi friends and happy Sunday. It has been a hot minute since I last checked in with you. I think the last time we spoke was 
Thursday night maybe <laughs> but Friday night basically I had a little date night with Brandon after work we watched some movies had a cute night together and then yesterday I spent my do day doing a 24 hour readathon with my friend which you can now watch I have a video up that went up it's going up tonight which is Sunday um but it will have been up by the time you see this vlog so yeah basically we did a 24 hour readathon in which we tried to read all of the Shadow and Bone books in 24 hours whilst also sleeping in a tent and it was an epic fail <laughs> but it was a lot of fun and I am hoping it's going to go down well I'm hoping people are going to still enjoy the footage that we did get so yeah that is where I have been it is now Sunday it is quarter past three I have spent the day just editing that video and uploading it so that's all up and ready to go in a couple of hours time. I've also been on Maddie's reading sprints all morning which I'm still on and um, we've got two minutes left of the sprint that I'm on just now so I thought I'd just update you while we were in that and yeah for the rest of the sprints I plan to just continue my reads of From Blood and Ash. I don't think I've read any more since I last spoke to you so I can't really do any updating but I am as you know really enjoying it and I think it's about to get really exciting. They are basically about to go on the move into danger so I think it should be really interesting from here on out. I have about I have less than 200 pages to go so I'm hoping to finish this today. We'll see how fast I read, how much concentration I have and how long these sprints go on for but I would really love to finish this today and yeah finish it before the week is up like I planned to originally so that I can start afresh tomorrow with a new book. So yeah I am just going to head off and read some more of this now and I will update you when I have got more to say. Hi friends so I have just come off of Maddie's reading sprints for the day and I have been reading more from Blood and Ash. I now have only a hundred pages left and it's so good like <sighs> I'm honestly loving this book so much like I think it's going to be a new favourite. I'm just racing through it. I love the writing style. I love everything that's happening which just had a big twist that I kind of saw coming but it was good all the same and I'm really intrigued to see where it goes from here because I literally have no idea. I have no idea like what are these next hundred pages gonna have and then what are the books after that gonna have in them? I don't know but I am really really excited to find out. We've also had a couple of super steamy scenes which I am all for. They were lovely. <laughs> really enjoyed those but yeah I am gonna go and take a little break just now I think. Maybe have some dinner, watch some tv perhaps and then hopefully settle down tonight and just finish the last 100 pages. Hi guys, so I am just popping on here to finish off the vlog but I did end up finishing From Blood and Ash and oh my god, <laughs> I love this book so much. Five out of five stars, absolutely everything, like it had everything I wanted. It had vampires, it had werewolves, it had complex characters, it had strong female characters, it had action, it had intrigue, romance, smut. Oh the smut. <laughs> Literally this book was so good. I just loved it from start to finish. I think I could have absolutely raced through it if I didn't have like other commitments like I probably could have read this in like two days or something because it is honestly that good. It reads so fast. Like I said I love the writing style which makes me really want to read more Jennifer L. Armantrout because I just really gelled with her writing. I need book two in my life. However I'm on a book buying ban so book two will not be coming to me anytime soon. Hopefully next month I'll be able to get it and fit it into my TBR as well because I need to know what happens next and I'm pretty sure the third one comes out like today so yeah I need those in my life. <laughs> but that will conclude this week's weekly reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. It kind of just became a From Blood and Ash reading vlog but I think that's fine. We'll move on to something else next week and like I said these weekly reading vlogs are just so you get a little bit more content of like what I'm reading throughout the week so yeah it's all good but if you did enjoy this video then do please give it a big thumbs up subscribe for more bookish content from me comment down below with any of your thoughts and feelings and I will see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.